Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're tying the Vanilla Bugger, an excellent fly originated on the North Platte River by Captain Mark Bonami. And we've got a Daiichi 1710 in the vise with a one quarter inch uh, cone head. I'm going to start my thread right behind the cone, work my way back to the back of the hook so it's even with the barb. And you can add extra weight uh, by wrapping lead wire on the shank before you tie the fly. But I'm going to just do it unweighted here except for the weight of the cone. I've got some sand colored marabou and a blood quill. I want to use this for my tail and I want the tail to be just about the length of the hook. You can mess around with the length of the tail kind of on your personal preference but that's how long I'm going to tie mine and roughly the length of the hook. So get it started with a couple of wraps. Advance forward so that we're leaving a nice underbody here. You want to always wrap your over the top of your marabou the length of the shank. So if you trim off your marabou back here you'll be left with a big hump that will show through when you're tying the rest of the fly. So now that I've got that tied in We'll go ahead and cover up those wraps a little bit more, make sure that everybody's nice and secure. And we'll add a little crystal flash, pearl crystal flash. What I'm going to do is tie in three strands on the near side of the hook. And then fold those over. After I've wrapped forward a few wraps, wrap back to the back. And that'll put three strands on the far side as well as three strands on the near side of the hook. Next we'll tie in our hackle. This is a silver badger or golden badger hackle. Silver will be a little lighter on the tips, golden will be a little more golden color. What I'm going to do is take the tip of the feather and expose it a little bit by folding back some of the the fibers from the feather here just folding them back with my thumb and forefinger and then I'll tie those in along or tie the tip in along the side of the hook shank and come back to the tie-in point by the tail now the original pattern uses furry foam. You can use furry foam for the body. I like this cream colored sparkle yarn from Wopsy. It's a nice kind of um, Antron yarn type yarn. It's got a little sparkle to it. I got two strands of that yarn. It's normally a three strand yarn. I've just removed one so I've got two. Two strands. I'm going to tie that in here starting at the back but leaving enough so that I can wrap over it down the length of the hook shank so I have a nice uniform underbody. We'll work our thread back up to the cone. Now we can wrap our yarn for the body. Just wrap forward. So you reach the cone and tie off the yarn. And then trim off the excess. Okay, now we'll wrap our hackle. Just fold it back a little bit as you get started here so that the, the fibers sweep back. And then continue to do that as you make each wrap forward. I'll spiral that hackle forward. Till we get to the front of the hook. And then when we get to the front, we want to do a nice complete full wrap to finish the fly. Tie off our 
hackle, trim off the excess stem material, just make sure everybody nice and happy we didn't tr trap any fibers down there. Now we can do our whip finish. Once you've done that, you can trim off your thread and a finished vanilla bugger. Great pattern for the North Platte, the Bighorn. Um, just about anywhere I fished it on Rapid Creek the other day, caught several fish on it. So, a nice color of woolly bugger with that, that nice barred effect from the, uh, the, the badger hackle. Make sure you tie some of these up. It's a super effective fly whether you're fishing for trout or carp or bass. A great variation on the woolly bugger. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Thanks for watching.